Housework sucks, but do you know what else sucks? In a good way, the Ecovax N10. Now this version that I have here, the base N10 variant doesn't come with the self-emptying dock and it retails at $4.99 on Amazon at launch. And it is competitively priced and it does have a competitive edge in a couple of areas, which I shall explain. So for those of you that are new to robot vacuuming technology, I'm gonna do my best to explain it as simply as possible. The Ecovax N10 uses what's known as a DTOF sensor on its back. That's a time of flight sensor and it spins continuously 360 degrees whilst it's vacuuming. And what this does is it allows it to be aware of its surroundings as it navigates around your house. But what makes it even better is it has its own memory on board and can actually memorize the floor plan in your property. And you can even program three floors. So if you do pick it up, take it upstairs and put it down, it will actually know where it is in your house and on what floor it's on because it has that memory once you've initially set it up. And there are a series of other sensors on board the N10, such as the drop detect sensors, which are all the way around the base. And it's also got a bumper, which detects when it slams into things. So for example, when it's trying to get right up close to a wall or into corners, that bumper will pick up the resistance and it will stop it from pushing into that any further. And Ecovac say that this version of the N series is now four times more accurate when it comes to scanning and it has double the detection range as the previous model, the N8. And I used that a lot and I can tell you that one was already good. And I will turn to some of the standout mapping features when we get to the app. Now, when it comes to look and finish and style of the actual N10 itself, this for me is one of the better looking robot vacuums out there. The body is mainly white with one noticeable difference from the N8 being the chrome finish over the laser turret system on top. And it's got this kind of radial shimmer when the light hits it, which is pretty cool. Now here's a couple of advantages that the N10 has over some other robot vacuums. And of course, over the N8, the older model of this, it's now got 4,300 pascals of suction power and the runtime is now 330 minutes. That's nearly double the runtime of the previous model. Now, if you happen to live in a mansion, first of all, lend us some money. And second of all, you'll be happy to know that if it runs out of juice mid vacuuming cycle, it will return to base, even if you've picked up the base and placed it somewhere else and plugged it in, because that base actually has lasers firing out of it and the N10 will be able to see that and go towards it no matter where it is. And once it's got enough battery to complete the task, it will continue where it left off. Now, when it comes to mopping, there's a 240 milliliter water tank attached to the N10, which is easy to remove, refill and clean and all that stuff. And in the app, you can adjust the level of water pressure and the downward pressure that the pad uses on the surfaces. And one of the advantages of the N10 over similar designs when it comes to robot vacuums is this one doesn't just run a cloth across the surface. It actually uses vibrations to break up any dirt that might be dried onto the hard surfaces. And this results in a better clean when it comes to that mopping functionality. And in the box, you do get a mopping pad. This is a washable one. It's kind of attached by Velcro, easy to remove and throw in the washing machine whenever you need to. Now the suction that I mentioned is strong and it's assisted by the roller inside the vacuum. Some of these robot vacuums don't have this rolling brush. This one does, and it's a hybrid between a bristle brush and a rubber brush. And the bristles can flick dirt and dust out of crevices in floors, and the rubber brush kind of sweeps bigger objects into the path of the suction. And just like the mopping feature where you can adjust the intensity of the water flow and the pressure, you can adjust the suction strength on the N10 as well. And there's even a quiet mode if the noise is too distracting for you. It can go around and clean, not quite as quickly, but definitely more quietly if needed. Now you might be wondering about pet hair. And from my personal experience, having used the older version of this, the N8 for several years, I can tell you, these things are invaluable. The quick, consistent and regular sweeps that it does just ensures that pet hair doesn't get ingrained and embedded and trodden into your carpets, making it harder to get rid of. Just that constant daily one after another vacuum cycle just keeps your carpets way cleaner than if you just vacuumed every few days or every week. It really is that reliable consistency that you get from a robot vacuum that makes a big difference if you're a pet owner. And this newer version of the Ecovax N series now has a new filter system. It's an E11 rated filter, which has an activated carbon cotton layer inside designed to absorb pet odors. And if you're a pet owner, you'll know that's quite often a problem 
and this will help you with that. And on top of that, it's designed to stop bacteria from multiplying inside the vacuum. So that's a nice upgrade for pet owners out there. Now for me personally, I use the schedule feature within the app so that my carpets are cleaned right before I walk through the door every day. And I tell you what, it's quite satisfying to see the lines in the carpet like a nicely cut lawn where the vacuum has just literally done its job. And that's something I think you'll appreciate straight away if you do decide to buy one of these. Now going back to those track marks that you might see if you have a slightly thicker carpet, that's where the wheels of the Ecovax will be running up and down in straight lines. What you can actually do if you want to, if you do have pets as well, this could be useful, you can set it to deep clean and that will just tighten those lines up and it will perform a much more thorough sweep of your carpets if you need it. So there's really two areas where robot vacuums struggle a little bit when it comes to vacuuming. One is the stairs, and trust me, one day they'll figure that out. And the other is the corners of the room. Now the solution that the N10 has to this is these little spinning brushes, which seem to be longer than some of the older models. And what these brushes do is flick the dirt out of the corners into the path of the suction. And I must say it does a pretty good job at that. And now let's talk about the controls. So it's really minimal when it comes to onboard buttons. We have the power button, which if you tap it, will start a cleaning cycle for you. But why do that when you can use your voice? The N10 does support Alexa and Google Assistant. And the reality is you'll hardly ever have to use the onboard controls because everything can be done through the app. Now, once you've completed the initial mapping process, you can actually label the rooms, you can create virtual boundaries where you don't want it to go. You can even adjust the level of cleaning required on a room to room basis. For example, if you wanted to use extra water in the kitchen and less water in the dining room or something like that. And if you wanted to use higher levels of suction power in certain areas, you can do that too. You can even set it to do a double sweep in certain areas if it's a high traffic area, for example, let's say near your front door. And if you wanna get really technical, you can even specify the exact path that it takes around your property when it does its cleaning cycles. So you could probably tell I'm already all in when it comes to robot vacuums, and I actually have a few of them. And the great thing about the Ecovacs app is you can build a fleet of cleaning droids and coordinate them all on the one app, which means less housework for you and housework sucks. But do you know what else sucks? In a good way, the Ecovacs N10. And if you guys wanna check it out, there'll be an affiliate link below this video. If you use that link to buy one, you will be supporting the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. And if you guys wanna check out some other Ecovacs models that I've reviewed in the past, there's some thumbnails on screen right now, go check those out. And if you do, I will see you in the next one. Don't be late.